My name is Alon and welcome to another Series 2 episode. In this one, we are getting 99 Slayer, which is like 1.1 million Slayer experience. And I actually cleaned out my Slayer tab before that. And in 40,000 experience, we got 400k. So let's see what we can get. That is what I like to see. Best superior in the game for imbued hearts. Let's see. 2.4k experience as well. And that is terrible. Actually, very close to back-to-back -back another one, so we have another chance here, and of course the Slayer experience, as always, is very good. 2.4k experience, you never say uh, no to that. Let's get an imbued heart, imbued heart on this one. Uh, okay, the drops from these are so bad, unless you get a rare. Wait, actually the first time I've ever got Barrows Brothers, uh, how many should I do? Uh, maybe like 16, that's the drop rate of a Barrows item, so I'm going to do that. Seems like a good amount, I would say. I actually thought the kill count would count when you open the chest, but it actually counted on every single kill, so it will only be three chests. So next time I'll do the max amount. Can we get a Barrow's item? Nope, one more chance. Let's see if we can get one. Last chance, here we go. Guthens Spear. Ah. Uh, oh yeah, they changed Grotesque Guardian, so I'm going to try that task. Actually, literally today they changed this, and I'm not really sure what the change is, but I think they kind of removed some of the transition phases. I think that in the transition phase where the uh, one of the bosses are supposed to be immune to damage, and you have to just wait out one of the transition phases when the electricity comes on the ground, I think one of them are just straight up removed. So this is when it's supposed to be, so let's see what actually happens. Yeah, I can just hit the melee one. So I guess they just removed one of the faces, which cuts down a lot on the time actually. So that's a very welcome change and doing this boss might be less of a pain now actually. Second kill is already a personal best, so the difference in time is about 20 seconds I would say. Oh nice, 97 attack. I actually didn't even know that was coming up. So only two more levels until another 99. And then I after that only need defense, magic and prayer. And of course magic and defense are both relatively close to 99. So getting closer to 99 combat for sure. Next level is 122 combat. Juicy, 162 hellhounds. I haven't done Cerberus in a long time. My KC is only like 150. So let's see if we can get a drop in these. No way, dude! <laughs> 32 million primordial crystal after what? 50 kill count? Oh, that's a good feeling, man. And that is the Cerberus task done. What an amazing task. I made like 35 mil of one task. I was actually out of prayer potions, so I'm selling my entire loot tab now, and look at that 35 mil from the Cerberus loot, and I still have 800k, so I will be able to buy quite a lot of prayer potions, but I will also save most of the money in the bank for future gear. My god, can Slayer be profitable? Another black mask? I think in total I've got like 10 black masks from Cave Horrors, and I'm actually not even killed that many. No fucking way, dude! Eternal gem at number 2, and it's from... What? It's from Superior Blood Velds. It's not an imbued heart, it's on the same drop rate, but that's my second eternal gem, and this is a 1 in 900 drop rate from these superiors. Holy- I'm making the most bank ever. Watch me get back to back. It's gonna happen, I swear. Oh, damn. That would have been amazing. Oh, Sarachnus. This is actually one of those bosses I pretty much have only done on Slayer Task. I got 35 last time, and so I will end on 7 kill count after this one. A very fast and easy task, pretty good Slayer experience as well actually from this task, and uh, it's not too bad money actually, 35 kills, 1.2 million, and it is a fairly low level boss, so definitely a good money maker for low level players. They're not very rare, Occult Necklace is 1 in 512, but nonetheless it's 500k free money, so uh, you never say no to that. I think this one is better than the one I have equipped, so I'm gonna use this one instead, or maybe not. Best superior for imbued heart, can we get eternal gem and imbued in one video? No, we cannot. Actually, the first time I've ever seen the superior, can we get an imbued heart on this one though? No, unfortunate. Wow, I actually got two of the same superiors in like a 19 Dark Beast task. So uh, if this one dies here, by the way, these are super slow to kill, 6.4k experience as well. 
That's a lot. Crystal Shard, so now I viewed hard. Not the most valuable drop, but uh, Kraken Tentacle, 438k. And look at the experience bar, only 77,000 experience until 99 Slayer, so we are really getting there. Few keys later, Uncharged Trident, so it's actually only 46k, but uh, it is a rare drop nonetheless. A massive amount of points after this one, 450 points, and I now have almost 800 Slayer points, which is very nice for skipping tasks. Oh wow, look at that! Uh, a Mystic Robottom Dusk, yeah, that is going to enter my collection log, and that was on, I think, 137. So it took quite a while. Oh, magic seeds. That's a nice profit right there. I knew I was going to get a whip on this task. 3 million profit. Now, as the last monster to 99 Slayer is going to die, I just want to say that I have made like 70 mil in total, I think, from the grind from 98 to 99 Slayer. And all of that money will be perfect to be able to buy Armadale gear, for example, for the raids I'm going to do in the future. And by the way, here we go, it is about to die. 99 Slayer has been achieved and we're going to head over to Duradel and buy the cape. But uh, as I said before that, I just want to say that this was so good for my account in terms of money. Of course, a lot of the money, pretty much half of it, came from the Primordial Crystal. And then like items like Black Mask, the Abyssal Whip, the Eternal Gem, all of these items, the big money items contributed a lot and that's why Slayer is very good. But now that I am 99 Slayer, I don't really have a reason to get more experience in it before I am maxed in general and that is obviously a very far off in the distance. So for Slayer, I might sometimes try to get some boss tasks and use the points that I have which is currently, let's see how many, oh yeah I can't see, um, here we go. So I have 752 points and that's quite a lot of skips, that is like what, 25 skips and I can use all of those to try to get boss tasks in case I'm going to try to do specific bosses in the future. But uh, for now I'm not probably going to do Slayer for quite a while and let's just get the cape first. Can you sell me a Slayer skill cape? And this is of course a very big achievement in old school runescape. At least it is for me, it's uh, in my opinion the coolest slayer or <laughs> skill cape in the game and I am very happy to have this now. And the perk of it, if you do not know but most people know about now, is that if you equip this cape, if you talk to any slayer as uh, master, and for example I have black dragons right now, if I take a task again there is a small chance that I will get black dragons back to back. So that is the effect of this cape, so for example if I would have Abyssal Demons and I really want to do Abyssal Sire, then I can actually use this cape to try to get back to back tasks, which is normally not possible. So just before the video ends, I want to say that I currently have 142 million cash, but I did sell my Dragon Hunter Lance, and my Dragon Hunter Lance is currently about 92 mil, I would say. So let's go and check that. So yeah, 92.2 mil. So if I remove that from this, I still have about 50 million in raw cash. And that is 50 mil I didn't have before this layer grind. Because I have all the other items still here. And I also have the bundles that I would use for raiding. And this 50 million is the money that I just previously said is probably going to go to Armadale gear whenever I go to raids again. But I'm not sure when that is going to be, but it is definitely a very good amount of money that I now have to use. Of course for the end slides, the first one we have only made pretty much double the progress on Sarachnis. I had 35kc and now I have 70. And for the second slide I only added actually 3 to the grotesque guardians for a slayer task. And then we pretty much doubled also the kill count of Cerberus but that's pretty much it in terms of bossing. But that is it for this video, I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you want to see more of my content you can click any of the videos on the screen right now and if you liked the video you can like the video and as well as if you want to join my discord as I mentioned in the beginning of the video it will be in the, the top of the description and it will be very nice to have you there and uh, I'll see you in the next one guys, take care.